I am not perfect and nor do I claim to be but the last thing that you can call me is your enemy and I know it shocks thee when these strings of letters roll off my tongue so eloquently pardon me but I fail to see how you can claim to be afraid of me the truth is you're afraid to see reality in all its simplicity you allow your mind to be imprisoned by your ignorance, not knowing why you started hating in the first instance. Pardon me, you say you're driven by patriotism and loyalty. Don't you see this country was built by people like you and me? Yes, the level of pigment in our skin may differ. The way we pray may differ. Even the way we say hey may differ. But please tell me why this means we have to hate each other. See, if I cut my skin and you cut yours, wouldn't the same coloured blood cover the gauze? Now, let me paint a scene. A young child is told by his father not to hang with the darkies, pakis or Iraqis because, son, they do nothing for us. Not knowing that it's a black man that drives his son's school bus and Mrs. Ahmed is the one who marks his son's school books. But remember, Son, they do nothing for us. Today's society is filled with such animosity, yet we're told we're moving to an era of collaboration and technology. <laughs> I remember when an AI bot was put on Twitter. It took less than a day for it to use the word ni That word that rhymes with trigger. Trigger. Pardon me, but hasn't this world seen enough atrocities from partitions to apartheid, holocaust to genocides, the earth is drenched in the blood of its inhabitants, whole families wiped out, parents and infants. Now, I challenge you, I challenge you all to communicate. The next time you see someone you feel the need to hate, start a conversation, find something to which you relate. Take some time to see life through their eyes and you never know, you may just sympathize. You may empathize, pardon me for I am not perfect and this is merely what I believe.